Warning, this video contains spoilers for Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Hey everyone, Ravenous here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, where last time we completed the dungeon Shadow Song C or yep, Siren Song C, and we should be able to head back to the ship and continue on our journey to the east. So, let's get back. See what everyone has to say. This is literally right after meeting the boss, so that way if there are any cutscenes afterwards, we won't miss a thing. Give me cutscenes. Alright. There we go. Thank I, the twelve. I punched until the sun came up. Yep, I punched him. Everything here would appear to be in order. Good. Repairs should be completed by the time we return to misery. Whereupon we shall resume our journey without further delay. Awesome. I swear, if I never hear another ghost story, it will be too soon. All right. Everyone, back aboard. Oh, good. Looks like the rest of the journey was made safely. I remember the sea, the smell of the salt, and the crash of the waves as we drew closer to Kugane. in Higashi, across the ruby sea from Othard, from Dome. Imperials. All the colors of the rainbow, all the peoples of the world, all in one place. I wish you could have seen it. Okay, who's she talking to? Oh, probably Papa Lebo. A kind of a journal. All right. Here we are. Wow. All right. So, first things first, we have a fairy right there. There's Tataru. Strange, is it just me or is the ground swaying? By the 12, I've never been happier to be back on terra firma. Our voyage has installed me in me a new appreciation for the surfaces which do not move on their own accord. Alright, done talking to you. Let me move now. There's a bit of lag because there's so many people here. Crash. This is still early access, so... Of course, by the time you see this, early access is long gone, but you know what? That's okay. Thanks again for uh, saving us from certain death at the hands of uh, Lorelei and whatnot. We'll not soon forget it. Please. I I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. It's very colorful, is it not? Alright. Go over here and talk to the captain. Congratulations, you now stand in Kugane, the western port of Higashi. Regrettably, the only port in this nation open to foreign trade. Oh, and I do apologize for the unseen difficulties which befell us during our journey. Needless to say, your assistance in overcoming them was much appreciated. Alright, I was going to pick up the casting ones. 
I remember. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at those later, as well as those. Making quite a collection. But while we're here, ooh, Falconer. Hi. Good borrow to you, sir. Do you wish to hire a Falcon Porter? I say, is this not your first visit to this shop? In that case, I shall add your name to a register for future ease of travel. Awesome! Which is why you have the Chocobo logo. Because if I remember correctly, they don't do Chocobos here. But let's look at the map real quick. Uh, let's see where the, the Port 2 goes to. Oh, well, I guess it goes to Shiragane. Which is the, as of right now, closed housing district. That'd be neat. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to Alphano. Now that we are here, glad though I am, though I am to have arrived, I would remind you all that we are far from home with limited resources at our disposal. Duly noted, brother. I shall take care not to enjoy myself. In any event, Doma is our final destination, and our first order of business should be to secure passage there. Captain Caravan, uh, I realize you pledged only to take us as far as Kagane, and I have no desire to change the terms of our arrangement. I should, however, be interested to know how you go about reaching Authard, were you in our position. At the risk of stating the obvious, you're in a port. Surely there's a kind and generous soul here who will aid you for the right price. You cannot be the first traveler seeking passage to Doma. Your captain makes a good point. Tis like Yagiri and Gosetsu were forced to come, uh, come here for the self-same reasons we, we were. They must have found a way to Authard, assuming they are not still in the city. Huh. If we seek passage, may mayhap we should first seek our friends. Leave it to me, Alphano. Making friendly inquiries is my specialty. Lest you forget, I got plenty of practice in Ishgard. Captain Caravellian, could you direct us to the nearest tavern? Desperate for a drink, are we? You may find one in that large building just beyond the pier. Whether your journeys have come to an end or about to begin, the... Uh, Shioka, uh, Shiokaze Hostillery is an ideal place for re to rest, relax, and reflect, or so they say. Shiokaze? I think so. And with that, my dear Scions, I bid you farewell. As soon as we have replenished our supplies, we must away. Ours was ever a fast-moving business. The spice trade, you mean. But of course, surely you do not think I traveled halfway around the world and delivered you to your destination solely out of the kindness of my heart. Perish the thought. Thank you, Captain. May the navigator watch over and keep you. Later. Right then, to the hostillery. After you. All right. Pretty. By the twelve, I thought Ishgard remarkable, but this—we are certainly not in Eorzea anymore. True. <laughs> a tavern is a tavern, Alphano, here or anywhere else. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to do what I do best. Thousand pardons, my lady. The signs of the seventh dawn, I presume. I hope your voyage was not too trying. And you are. Ah, 
Yes, of course, forgive me. <laughs> Hancock of the East Aldenard Trading Company, at your service. On behalf of Chairman Lollarito, I bid you welcome to Kugani and invite you to take refreshments at our local offices. Lollarito, of course. Lollarito? I was aware his interests extended beyond the borders of Eorzea, but not so far as Kugani. Regardless, I am disinclined to accept the hospitality of grinning merchants, especially those who serve a master with whom we have such a difficult relationship. My, such <laughs> naked suspicion. <laughs> I do hope that business with the Crystal Braves did not rob you of all faith in your fellow man. Or do you really think the chairman is plotting to drag you into another one of his grand schemes? I beg your pardon? If you are trying to win my trust, you are failing quite spectacularly. Oh dear, have I offended you? Once again, I must apologize. Too much time in the Far East, you see. One is compelled to talk in circles round everything here, and one finds oneself longing for the invigoratingly candid speech of the Uldan markets. Though, I see now that this was neither the time nor the place to indulge said longing. Might I suggest that we continue this conversation at the company offices? Too many eyes and ears here, you understand. It would be decidedly reckless to say any more. If I may favor you with the invigorating candy you apparently crave, it would be decidedly reckless to follow a man I neither know nor trust. Give me one good reason why we should accept Lord Lollarito's invitation. Now there's the young diplomat I was told to expect. Very well then, I shall explain. You understand that you are come to a most reclusive and secretive nation, yes? One whose borders are close to foreign trade save at this single port. Then it should come as no surprise that a great many parties have vested interests here. Merchants like myself are a given, of course, but for every one of us, you may be certain there is also an agent of a foreign government. Many notable nations and empires have embassies here, you know, including, of course, the Garlean Empire, with whom you have such a difficult relationship. To paraphrase, Kugani is teeming with Imperial spies, one or several of whom could now be listening to our every word. Something to that effect, yes. Beneath this veneer of bustling trade, a war for supremacy is being waged between world powers. One might say we were standing on the front lines, just not in public. I still have my doubts, but he may have a point. I say we accept his invitation for now. Yep. Gotta do it. Got a quest. All right. What did my crew have to say? I don't trust him one bit. I neither should you. Forgive me, the mere mention of the East Arlene Trading Company is enough to... Uh, I am fine, truly. You need not worry. So there are Imperial Spies everywhere. Great. Just great. I dare say, often known as Menace Match. At least get my Fist of Fire going and get charged up by Chakra. Never know when one might get into a fight. Alright, Hancock. And you must be Ravenous Kurahi. Slayer of gods, rider of dragons, savior of Ishgard, stealer of pants. If some of the more puzzling rumors are to be believed. I don't remember stealing pants, but I wouldn't put it past me. I knew it. May I say what an honor and pleasure it is to make your acquaintance, good sir. I just know you and I are going to get along famously. Now then, without further ado, allow me to escort you to the company offices. This being your first, first visit to our fair city, I shall make an effort to point out various landmarks along the way. If you would be so kind, good as to follow me. Alright.
Could have got around here. Don't see anything. Wait, maybe I should go up there for a second. I see uh, a HUD board. Getting that as soon as possible would be a good idea. Or not. Wow. That's pretty. Okay. So I guess the hunt board is uh, not on the agenda just yet. All right. We shall move on then. Uh, the, oh, there was an aetherite. Oh, back here. I almost missed it because we had the cutscene. There we go. Right. That'll be handy, especially when, uh, when we can do the, the hunts. Oh, leaves of Kagame. That would be also that would also be helpful. All right. Well, before we do that, we're gonna hit up the eighth right. Something tells me I should set this as my favorite, so I'm going to. As my free. Alright, set register free. Yes. Good, now we can teleport back here whenever we need to. In fact, let's look at the prices of travel right now. Just, wow. Alright, those, okay, just to let you know, those are 66, uh, 699 because I have the reduced rates right now. Those are to be much higher. There's a, apparently a cap of 999. All right, but leads of Kugane you cannot be unlocked just yet. Probably because I hope to find a skilled adventurer here, and enough of them to beat the man. I don't have hand or land. Okay, that is also that is also helpful for different reasons. All right. I say, what is that smell away from the under tea house? Could it be? Yes, could it be possibly the scent of whispered secrets waiting to be overheard? I know you want to get to it, Tataru, but we need to finish it. Even the Aetherites look different here. I know that our, our would-be hose has elected to dress in the local fashion. Yep. I do not like the cut of that man's gym. Not one bit. Oh, there is one thing I needed to check. Uh, teleport. Okay, so getting to my uh, free company house and uh, apartment aren't too expensive, so that's going to be my way back. All right. Everyone, if I could have your attention, please. We are now standing in uh, Tonkotono. Or no. Ten ko Tenkonto. Tenkonto. Sorry. Loosely translated, it means spire drifting souls, which at some, at, uh, which at some of you may have deduced, it makes reference to of, uh, to the aetherite which stands over yonder. Huh. The the design is uh, is markedly different from those of Charlian. Yet I trust its function is identical. A diplomat and a scholar will wonders never cease. Far Eastern Aetherite technologies have long a storied tradition, I assure you. This particular example was constructed by the Onishisu, 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 a collective of skilled craftsmen who guard their ancestral techniques with utmost secrecy. In short, you will find no less reliable uh, than you will find it no less reliable than the Western counterparts. A tune, if you like, which I already did. All right. Keep an eye on the map to see what else we have going on. Alright. There are risks. Alright, what risks do I need? Is 
Let's see, we have we need a big casting. There's a big. All right. Beautiful as it may be, we're gonna spend all day staring at the at the right. Come, come, let's keep, let us move along. The markets are next. All right. Markets. Place is sweet looking. It really is. All right. Well, I will set up my uh, uh, one of my retainers here in the near future. But I won't do that. Okay. Won't bother you, bother you guys with it. Oh, here we go. Go oh, it's right, All we've got to attune. All right. Tatteru. Be still, my heart. You say to go set to our Yugiri here. Not that I expected to stumble across them just like that. That would have been nice. Let's look at all the garish designs. Not fun of salty, are they? Huh, is that a theater over there? Be sweet if it was. Loving this place. Well, well, I would expect no less of a bustling port. We've arrived at the largest shop shopping district in Kugane. Kugane Dori. Dori. Kugane, as you are doubtless unaware, is an ancient uh, Hingan word for gold. So this prosperous port where golden fortunes are made, less, less, lesser fortunes, or Kugane, are earned by, by local merchants. It's all quite logical once you learn the language. Hehehe, <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Ho ho, a kindred spirit. What a pleasure it is to meet a young lady who appreciates the value of hard won coin. Listen, they're getting long. Hancock of, of the East Ar uh, Aldar Trading Company. You are with clients today? Why, if it isn't Master Kaiten, allow me to me to introduce you to my esteemed guests, but but recently come from distant Eorzea. This kind of generous soul supervises all transactions here in Kugane Tori. Your your sincerity is ever appreciated. A sincerity is ever appreciated. As he says, I am Kaiten of who of a uh, Haikuchi uh, of the Haikuchi clan. It is my honor to serve as overseer of these markets. As we receive many foreign visitors to, to Kugane, we accept all manner of currencies. Rest assured, your heirs and gill are welcome, and I invite you to per peruse our wares at your leisure. They thought of it too! Money trade! But I don't need to worry about it. But at least they thought of it. That makes me happy, at least. Rather than Gil is everywhere and for everybody. That'd be silly. Arms, armor, foodstuffs, uh, potables. Here you will find them all and more. Alright. Good, good, good. See, so, yeah, I'll have to come back here because I want to set one of my retainers to these markets. Because I like to have my, my retainers, uh, at different locations. Oh, wow. Man. It's like the the Limsa 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 markets, but better, to my opinion. Yeah. Tool shop, independent peddler. Very nice. Okay, is there any other uh Okay, we're coming up to one pretty soon. Alright. Don't think, I, don't think I haven't memorized every detail of that street. There's at least a half a dozen shops that will soon be enjoying my custom. Oh, I know. Huh. We're actually quite far from the docks now, aren't we? This place is bigger than I thought. Huh, the zoo company head has a different air about it. Where to next, I wonder? 
Hindi. If we may pause here for a moment. This road leads to the Aijin Gai, which. Uh, uh, Aijin Gai, the district which Aijin, uh, or foreigners, are permitted to reside. Would this also be where the foreign embassies are found, including that of the, uh, the certain empire? Precisely. So you see, it would not be all unusual to cross paths with one of our garlic cousins here. With this in mind, I would encourage you to choose your words carefully. We would not want any physical altercations, after all, such spats being strictly forbidden. The, uh, the, uh, let's see, see, uh, Seki Segumi. The se 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 Seki Segumi punish breaches of peace quite severely. I have seen foreigners permanently exiled for a single violation, though to be fair, this was this is not common. More often than not, they are executed on the spot. What? Cut down then and there? You're joking, right? Would that I were, but but alas, these samurai are are humor are a humorless lot. Why I call this one is it would a foreign merchant in his cups uh, dared lay hands upon uh, dare had lay a hand upon a Hinga, uh, Hinga, uh aristocrat in front of the Shiki, Seki Segumi. The samurai cut him in half with a single stroke. Uh, I don't even want to think about it. So as you see, it would behoove you to behave. Failing that, we may be forced to play parts. Or, uh, be sorry. Failing that, we may be forced to part ways with one another, or you with yourselves, in a manner, uh, in the manner of the late Teleji Adeleji. You, you find that funny, huh? At least you know that story. Oh, how I amuse myself. We must carry on. I've yet to show you the the Garlean Consulate. So I'm trying to pronounce these words properly. So I have to take a moment to make sure I do. All right. So let's continue on. Taking in some of the sights. There's a back alley. I guess that's good to know. Oh, that's neat. Uh, that's Garlean, all right. Take a look around. But I believe I saw. Uh, yeah, there we go. Knew I, there was an Ethernet shard over here. Look further down as well, but I'm not going to go that far yet. There we go. The Thavenarian Consulate. Yeah, that's definitely Imperial. We'll talk to Festus. Hi, Festus. It's close enough, Savage. Well, I never. Danger, excitement, intrigue, oh my. Some might call it unwise to loiter outside the gates of the hostile Empire's consulate. Compared to the Hingan architecture, this seems drab and uninspired. Or mayhap I simply had my fill of Garlean aesthetics, such as they are. So that, bu so that building's full of Garleans. This, as you may have surmised, is the consulate of you know who. Mark the guards of the gate. Our are their uniforms not different from those you've seen in the West? While you travel far and wide, you would find that many such variations exist, often inspired by local design. All of which goes to show that even a massive empire seeking to rule all of creation is not with its artisan, without its artisans. All right, we're gonna need for a big, thank you. Put it with the rest. And the other one was casting, so. There's oh so much more we, I could speak of. The soothing waters of the onsen, the ephemeral delights of the, the pleasure district. We are doubtless still weary from your long sea travels. <laughs> sea voyage. Please retire to the company offices. Onsen being hot, uh, uh, hot springs. 
generally uh, open air baths. That's a word I know. Ethernet. Thank you. Alright. Into this crowded place. Alright. Well, there's Tatu right there in this crowd. Ah, uh, the unmistakable scent, scent of wealth and power. Even though this feels just out of place as a garlic consulate, it's a lot more comforting. I dare say, we could travel to Mary City or the New World and find a man like Hancock waiting for us. It's true. There's no denying this place was built for uh, an old duck. Yep. Back to you too. Hi. Greetings, sirs and, sirs and ladies. Welcome and welcome to the Kugane branch of the East Al Al Alder Aldenard Trading Company. Aldenard. Thank you. Aldenard. At long last, we have arrived at our destination. May I present to you our humble offices? We have much to discuss, so I will refrain from further problem. Come, come, right this way. All right. Statue. Can I smash it? Our thaumaturges took great pains to ward these walls against all manner of surveillance. Where business dealings are concerned, we do not compromise on confidentiality. Good. You may avail yourselves of these offices for the duration of your visit. Come and go as you like, and know that you may speak freely here. Your offer is most generous, but I will not enter into any agreement which would leave us beholden to you or your master. A legitimate concern? Allow me to clarify, then. The chairman bids you consider this as an expression of his heartfelt contrition for the bloody banquet and the unpleasantness which followed. Never having been one to put stock in words alone, the chairman deems the provision of material aid to be a more appropriate demonstration of his sincerity. By Sheer coincidence, your purpose here also happens to coincide with our own interests. That is, assuming you are come to aid the Doman Liberation Front. How could... <laughs> I will not bother to offer a denial. I, you have the right of it. To be specific, we are come in search of our Far Eastern allies, Yugiri and Gosetsu, whom we hope to assist in their fight. The Aori Shinobi and the Rugadan Samurai? Then you will be pleased to know that they have both come to Kugani. Are you sure? Quite. They came here aboard a company vessel, you see. However, they encountered difficulties securing passage across the Ruby Sea. The Ruby Sea? Sorry, I've never been any good at geography. Forgive me. This calls for a map. Okay. Does that mean they're still in town? Or are they at the shore or something? We are here in Kugani, the sole open port of Hingashi, situated on her western coast. Doma, meanwhile, is here on the eastern coast of Othard in Yansha. I did know how to pronounce Yansha. Therefore, if your friends are to reach Doma, they must first cross the Ruby Sea. Alas, this is easier said than done, as the Ruby Sea does not fall within the dominion of either Hingashi or Doma, being controlled since antiquity by a third party, namely the Confederacy. Huh. Day I was not aware of. 
Said Maritime Collective is known for the consummate skill of its sailors and for demanding that any vessel entering its waters pay a toll referred to as the Ruby Tithe. In exchange, the Confederacy's vast fleet guarantees the safety of those who travel within its territory. Oh, they're a mafia. Now, as I'm sure you are aware, Garlemald conquered Doma some 25 years past, at which time the Empire saw no value in controlling the Ruby Sea. And thus did they turn a blind eye to the activities of the Confederacy. The recently appointed acting Imperial Viceroy of Doma had other ideas, however. She has formally condemned the Confederacy and declared that any who recognize their authority shall be branded enemies of the Empire. Bowing to this pressure, Hingashi severed ties with these toll-takers and forbade the payment of the Ruby Tithe, prompting the Confederacy to make it known that any merchants choosing to sail the Ruby Sea would do so at their peril. So maybe we can get the Confederacy on our side. Maybe. No wonder they struggled to secure passage to Doma. What captain would risk such a journey given the circumstances? I'm told your friends were not so easily deterred from their course, but I know not whether their persistence bore fruit. I say we follow in Yugiri and Gosetsu's footsteps and attempt to secure passage to Doma for ourselves. We will need to cross the sea in any case, and we may learn something of their whereabouts in the process. And should we find that they are still in Kagane, we can make the journey together. In that case, I have some information which may be of use to you. No quid pro quo, I assure you. The chairman was most insistent that I aid you to the best of my ability. Don't smile like that. It makes you less trustworthy. All right, but we will continue this on in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this, give a like, any thoughts, comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, click on my beautiful face. If you like supporting this video, check out my Patreon. And thank you for watching. Until next time. Later.